Welcome, 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 welcome to Big Red Leads. I'm Big Red getting you and your business back to the black. You are the business man. Uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. I uh, just kind of want to touch base and chime in with everybody. Um, really what this comes down to today, this is not necessarily um, a tutorial or... Uh, maybe a concept overview or anything like that. But what this is today, I just simply wanted to touch base with everybody and and see where you are. It's it's the new year. Um, hopefully you stepped into it with some grace, some understanding, acceptance of where you are in life. Um, hopefully you're grateful for what you have and understand that there are more, better, greater things coming your way. Um, but that being said, what holds us back from getting to where we need to be? Like, understanding lack of vision, understanding um, your purpose, and in, in, in moving in that direction. Like, these are just a few things. Like, these are, they're huge things, but they're just a few things. Now, that does not necessarily mean that you can't be successful in your own right. If you still haven't tapped into what your purpose or even your vision is, because modeling is another way to go. Also, like, you know, taking courses just to better yourself. But please understand, like when when you hear things like the 80-20 rule, like the 80-20 rule applies to a lot of different things. Like, um, let's say you are the owner operator of your business and you do have employees. 80 percent of your your staff you will not be directly in contact with on a continuous basis. I mean, of course, unless you have a small, small unit of people, but the 20% is the people that you have execute on what you need done as far as getting your, you know, your objectives and things like that met. Now, the 80-20 rule could also apply to mentality, perception, understanding, you know, your vision, purpose then to the 20 percent, which would be your skills now people think that like if you're highly skilled that you are automatically in the running for let's say just the job yes it helps experience helps but what a lot of people don't step tap into is everything else in that 80 percent if you have that right attitude and mindset and understanding because mindset is it's not one of those things that we just simply overlook and we just let go because we feel good about our skills our skills will get us so far your skills and talent will get you so far if you don't have work ethic which is in the 80 percent we said it before i'll say it again like if you don't have work ethic and you have talent there will be people who will simply outwork you just because of the understanding and the mindset of I have to push myself to do more, become more, do more. Like mindset work is so key and vital. And anybody who calls himself a coach, a teacher, it's more about the understanding and getting your students or your pupils to really get this down. Mindset work is more important and more powerful. Put it like this. You can you can keep pumping the same thing over and over and over again. And you might be a master at this skill set. But can you teach it? Like, do do the people who are who are riding along and trying to get what you have down an understanding are they trying to get your skill set? Or your mindset. Because understand. They go hand in hand. But one is going to outwork the other. It just is. A lot of people. A lot of people who get. The older you get. The more you get stuck in your ways. Unless you are one of the rare or few people. Who have an understanding of. I have to learn something every day. I'm open minded. My mind is not cut off from the understanding of things that I've learned when I was younger might not necessarily have been true or better yet, they might be obsolete. So your skills have to be updated. 
your skills simply have to be updated. Now, what a lot of people don't understand or they leave behind is your skills have to be updated, but your mindset has to be updated. As you evolve and elevate, because this is where this is why we t- we touch base on. I understand what people are saying when they say they're grinding, and we did a video on that before. No more grinding. This is simply about elevation, elevating your skill set, elevating your mentality, elevating your mindset, elevating those around you, so that they can be the better. And hopefully get to the best version of themselves. You want the people around you to not only not only to be inspired, but you you want to you want to be able to motivate them to get things done. Especially if you're working as a collective. If you're just talking about your own individual self, the dark side of the game, if you will, the things that you avoid, that you leave behind, that you just let simply go and ride, and it becomes it calcifies, it turns into something else. These are habits that are very difficult to break as the, you know, the older we get. So why would you continue to put yourself in, in, in a position and get stuck in this paradigm that's going to be an everlasting loop of nonsense, like getting frustrated and not understanding that, okay, this is going to continue for the remainder of my years if I don't change something. A lot of people, not all, a lot of people get caught up in not understanding the world around you is not going to change unless you change. This is where mindset work is so key and so vital when it comes to your personal growth and development. Mindset over skill set. I will take that 80% from one person over someone who has the skill set that is spot on, dead, you know, but but look, they're not dedicated. They don't work hard. They're not pushing themselves to get better. And at the same time, they're not trying to hear or even take some guidance into what what would possibly put them in a better position to make them even better. I'll take mindset over skill set any day. I'll take a person with no talent, no skill, if they got the right mindset. 10 out of 10 times. Because you're, you're, I'll, look, I, I've told my children this, I tell my nieces and nephews this, T- I'll take a hard C any day than an easy A. Most people will take the A. Why? If it was easy and you didn't really learn anything, did you push yourself? Remember, it was, it was, it was some years ago. My nephew had a project that he was working on. It was a science project. And essentially, he had, I think he had two, three weeks to finish it. He finished it in like an hour. Not going into any detail. Not 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 pushing himself and going into further detail and getting a better understanding. It, it was over the solar system. Or something. Yeah, I, I want to say it was over the solar system. But not giving any detail on the planets, not what a star was, not not you know supernova, any like he didn't go into any detail, and he still had like I want to say he had like another week and a half to finish it, to turn it in. So when he come over, he showed me, and he, of course, of course, you know, not to deflate him because you don't want to deflate, especially a child, you don't want to deflate their confidence, but you want to be honest with them. So, he brought it over, I looked at it, and I told him, I was like, I said, I said, I said, asked him what the teacher was looking for. And he said this was one of his more difficult teachers. So, his teacher expected more of him because his teacher has tapped into an understanding that how smart he is, how bright he is, and he can push himself. So, his teacher's on him. And I said, you have to look, you have to understand that, you know, this, you know I'm telling them like, it's like, you know, nephew, you got to understand that. So how long did it take you to do this? He told me it literally took him 50 minutes. He had his little cardboard up, you know, like all that, 
had these little like styrofoam balls that he like slapped a little bit of paint on and he was pretty much done all all he really did was name the planets he had a couple little things that were like stars and he thought he was done it's like you didn't go into any detail about each planet like things that you know when i was a kid encyclopedias was a thing so you had to go research you know if i say dewey decimal system i guarantee that a lot of the youngsters on this particular who are watching this video have no clue what i'm talking about anybody over the age of 30 35 you might not remember it but you used it the dewey decimal system these kids today don't know what that is they just google everything Bing, Google, they, that's all they do. So, needless to say, I told him and simply let him know. I was like, okay, this is solid, but this could easily be an A, possibly extra credit. Found this out later, he ended up getting extra credit. Why? He basically, he didn't destroy what he created and what he put together, but... He went into detail about each and every planet, about what a supernova was, and had you know, and had had this the star, which was the sun in his little model. He went into detail about like the temperature and the understanding of like what what a star is. Like it was, I mean, like from where he started to where he where he where he ended up finishing or refinishing. He elevated himself because he pushed himself in a way that he, he maybe never thought of. This is where mindset work comes into play. Needs to say, he got an A, and he got some extra credit um, for that particular class. So, what I'm simply getting at with us as adults, we lose that childlike mind in being curious. Okay, what can I do that will not only benefit me, but... Maybe even inspire and motivate myself to want to do more. Like once you like you, you hear people talk about going down a rabbit hole, especially on like YouTube or watching videos, things like that. One, people are too attached to screens. That's a whole nother conversation. But what I'm simply speaking to is if you go down a rabbit hole of information and you're still intrigued and it's still it's still motivating you to want to learn more every time a new term or a, a, a word pops up that maybe you don't have an understanding and you go and you look that up another another thing that's gone by the wayside of the source not just a dictionary but a thesaurus like actually going into detail about what you're actually reading and getting a better understanding of we're talking about real research so that you're not only are you more informed, but you're creating a habit of understanding I have to go as far as I possibly can in getting a better understanding. That way I have a mastery level of understanding about the subject matter. So why wouldn't you do that with yourself as an adult? Especially if you want more money at your job, if you want to raise, if you're looking for all these these quote unquote extra layers of what someone might deem successful you want to be more value you want more value you want more value you want to be compensated for your time and effort most people just go to a job just to pay bills most people start a business because they have this idea and they need to get it out that's why a lot of business start it's like okay here's a problem here I have a solution. Can my solution solve this problem for others? A lot of successful businesses, that's how they start out. And that's what a business should be. It's it's not just the transaction of funds for goods. It's not just the transaction of, I'm going to give you this for this. It's not the old school barter system. But what it is, is it's a spiritual transfer. That's really what business is. So understanding that you can get better and you can become better and you can become more is a mindset thing. I'll take mindset over skill set any day. So with that being said, love you all. 
I hope this message helps. Just get a better understanding of how your mind works and what successful people that you know that you could tap into. Reach out to. Hit me at Big Red Leaves at Gmail if you would like a free consultation. They're free. What's the difference? And which is more effective in your life? You want to be successful and you don't have you don't have your vision or you don't have your purpose yet? Model somebody. There are plenty of coaches out here who have courses and tutorials and things of that nature. Go to, go on a webinar. Step into a webinar that you have no clue even existed. There are tons of them out there. There are tons of great coaches out there who are more than willing to help you further yourself, become more, become more valuable. That's all mindset work. The majority of it's mindset work. It's an understanding is I'm going to go get it every single day. Don't become complacent in your learning. Don't become complacent in your mindset work. Don't become complacent in your skill set either. The more powerful the mindset, with time, if you don't have the natural talent and ability, the skill set will get better as well. So, with that being said, I know this message will help somebody today. Have a great one, my friends. Love you all. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get more of this information. This is Big Red Lee saying, peace, have a great day. Mindset over skill set any day of the week. Peace.